In the last video we wrote our little hello world application and we basically were just seeing the basics of what we can do in C++. Now I want to explore things a little bit further and so we're doing command line tools here. We're doing a compile with G++. Of course as your programs get bigger, and we're not going to write a big program here, but we can at least explore how we would do it. When they get bigger, they need to be split across multiple files. You can't put everything inside of this one file. So, how do we do that? Well, I can simply create another CPP file. So, I'm going to call this greet.cpp. And we're going to put a function in here, void greet, and I want to pass to this a string, we'll call it name, we'll come back and talk about how I should improve this in a later video, and I'm just going to see out hello name Because I am using C out here, I need to include IO stream. And I'm going to put a using statement here. Okay. So that is a greet.cpp file. And instead of saying hello world, I'm going to ask the user for their name. Declare a variable called name of type string. And then read a value into it. And then I want to call greet and pass it name. Okay, this sounds good. There are multiple problems here. And in order to find those problems, we'll go ahead and let the compiler give us error messages so we can see what's going on. First thing, string is not declared in this scope. Turns out that string is not something you have access to implicitly to start with. We actually need to include it. So there is a string library, and we can pound include string. Turns out that's not enough, because string is also in the standard libraries. So you can either put in a using statement saying you're using std string, or every place you put string in your program, you have to prefix it with std. Cn, well, just like I had to put a using for c out. I need one for CN. And now things get more interesting. Okay. Now it says that there wasn't able to find greet. Okay. This function that I'm calling here, and you're like, well, I have this other file. I wrote it. At this point, it's tempting to go up and put a pound include for this, and that would be the wrong thing to do. You should never, ever, ever pound include CPP files. Includes are for header files. Okay, there actually are some techniques which are just for increasing compile speed, and they're weird techniques that you really shouldn't do on a regular basis. They should be done by automated tools. You should not be pound including CPP files. CPP files are supposed to be source files. There are separate files, the header files, which we'll talk about in just a bit. Anyway, so I have this problem. It doesn't know about greet. Okay, so I can put in a, when I do the compiling, I can tell it to compile both hello world and greet. And I have errors again here. Well, you might remember that all these changes that I made dealing with things like string and whatnot, I didn't do those over here. Found include string using string. How happy is that now? Okay, it's almost there, but it's not quite. And the problem is that in C++, 
the compiler has to know about things before you use them. So when we go back to this hello world, when the compiler is running through this program and it gets to this line, it says basically, I've never seen greet before. It knows about C out, string, and C in because of these various pound includes. It does not know about greet. How are we going to tell it about greet? Well, one way is I could put the signature for greet right here. So I could put void greet string name. And that's sufficient. This will compile. However, that's kind of bad form because now I'm making some assumptions in my hello world, my main, about what the greet function looks like. And in general, what you really want to do is this is where the header files come in. So if all that you need is that method signature, you create a header file. And the header file only gives the method signature. Okay. Problems here. Okay, in fact, I'll just go ahead and fix it instead of letting the compiler. I'm using string. This is a new file. Basically, you can't make assumptions about things being in other files appearing here. That's a bad thing to do. Anything that you use in a file needs to be included. Also, it's tempting to put in a using statement. Because of the impact of using statements, your heading header files should typically not have using statements. So inside of the header files, you should go with this. By the way, this colon colon, we're gonna see quite a bit of it. That is the scope operator in C++. So this is saying that I want string that is inside of the scope of the standard library there. So that is our header file for greet. And now we can go to hello world and I want to include my library. Which I believe I called greet.h with a capital G. And I can compile this and it's happy. And now these separate files, the greet.h and the greet.cpp, they are completely responsible for the greeting aspect. You also notice that when I compiled this, I did not specify the .h. Now this compile here is actually doing two steps. Technically the C++ linker does a compile and then it does a link. And I want to separate those out so that you can specifically see them in part because, okay, so your tools, your IDE and whatnot might hide this from you, but you will get error messages that vary based upon what it is that when the error occurs. So in order to get G++ and the GNU compiler to do just a compile and not a link, we can give it the hyphen C option. So earlier when I tried to compile just hello world by itself without the greet, we ran into problems. However, by specifying this hyphen C, you'll see that we created a new hello world dot o file. This is an object file and so it has compiled hello world dot cpp to an object file but it hasn't been linked to an executable. I can also compile the greet dot cpp and that gives me an object file there. The advantage here is you can do separate compilations. So when programs get really big, if you only edit one file, you don't want to recompile all of the files. You only want to compile the ones that were changed. So by, separate, by having separate compilation, if I had changed greet.h, I only need to compile that one. And then the link phase, in this case I'll put start auto because I only have those two object files, that will create a new a.out for me you'll see that my timestamp is changed and our program runs the way it's supposed to. So, take away messages from this. You can put source code in separate files. Typically the main source code goes in CPP files. Your CPP files, especially the ones that don't have a main in them, often need a header file associated with them that gives the declarations for the functions, basically gives a signature. 
It's not the definitions, it's just the declarations. Then you can compile these things separately and then link them up and that's dealing with the tools. One last thing that I want to point out here, and this is actually, so it's, it's kind of hard in a small program to cause this to be problematic, but it turns out that what I've written right here is a problem. Because if I had things like declarations of classes or structs or whatnot, you can have a pound include for greet that occurs winds up happening multiple times. Because it turns out when you do a pound include, the entire text gets basically copy and pasted into the file at that location. If we were to define the same class two or three times, that's an error. So we have to somehow prevent that from happening, even though naturally it might happen on its own. And we can do this with things called preprocessor directives. Turns out the pound include is a preprocessor directive. All the preprocessor directives start with a pound. And this time I'm going to say pound if in def. That means if not defined. And I'm going to say if we haven't defined greet yet, then I'm going to do the following code. First is I'm going to define greet. And then I have everything that's in my header file. And then I put an in def. So the first time that it comes across this, greet has not been defined. So it defines it, it does everything that we want, and then this ends. If we happen to include this file twice, and once again, while that might sound to you like it's a dumb thing, when you're in a larger project, your main file might include two other files, and each of those other files might include some third file. Uh, so you can get this in a very natural way, and if you don't put these guards around your, your header files, you'll wind up getting things included multiple times and you'll get errors from it. So all of your header files should have these guards around them.